Marquette's rowers have a slight fear of the water they row in. You don't want to get it in your eyes. I've gotten pink eye like four or five times from like getting it in my eyes. Don't, don't get the river water in your eye. That stems from a history of pollutants in the city of Milwaukee. The three rivers in Milwaukee have played a central role in you know, the livelihood in the region and the city's growth and industry. Industrial activities that produced um, things like metals and organic contaminants like PCBs. Uh, at the time when the industry was happening, we didn't know that they were harmful to our health. And they sort of accumulated in the river and particularly in the sediments in the bottom of the river. You know, and, and, and as, um, you know, scientists studied the problem more and we got more information about um, these chemicals, we started to learn that, you know, they're, they're bad for people. And if you swim in the river or drink the water, you know, they can, they can impact your health. There's a range of health effects that can occur. There are bacteria in our waste. And if you, you know, ingest that, it can give you, you know, stomach and like gastrointestinal illness. Um, on the industrial side, I think like the metals and PCBs uh, from an industry, those can be associated with um, cancers, uh, delayed development in kids, kidney problems, liver problems. It, it's kind of like a whole host of uh, human impacts associated with those. Thankfully for athletes on the water, cleanliness is moving in the right direction. Even though we're treating a lot more sewage than we were before, we're still discharging some untreated wastewater into our rivers, right? And so what Milwaukee did to solve that problem was build the deep tunnel, which is a huge storage system, 30 miles long. I think it's 30 feet in diameter, you know, big pipe that's a couple hundred feet underground uh, that stores all of that sewage. And so since they brought that storage system online, um, they've reduced the total volume of combined sewer overflow, something like 97%. The general cleanliness of the river, it actually plays more of an impact than you think just in terms of like a rower's peace of mind. Um, you know, it is an on the water sport, but you do get wet. <laughs> you do get splashed. You do get water that comes into the boat over time. Um, and as a rower, when I was in college, there was a running kind of joke, if you will, that you know, rowing on the Milwaukee River, if you went in, you had to get a tetanus shot because it was so dirty. Um, so, I mean, in terms of like peace of mind, we as rowers would prefer the river to be cleaner. That seems like a minor consideration compared to other tragedies the river yields. It's not the cleanest river. It's, it's not the grossest river, obviously. Um, there's less dead bodies found in this river than a lot of other rivers, and just saying. Sadly, there are still many dead bodies found in Milwaukee's waterways. According to the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner, six bodies were recovered from 1974 to 1986, a 12-year span. Five of the six remain unidentified, and in a span of the last five months, three bodies were recovered from Milwaukee's waters as recently as February 16th. So while the amount of pollutants found in the river is going down, the disturbing number of bodies found in the waterways continues to go up. I'm Timothy Lateau. Marquette Wire Projects.